Hello and welcome to the inside of my van. Today is the day when I am moving over from summer to winter settings. I've done a number of things. I've started stripping things out of the uh, van. For example, I'm going to be living in a house for the next uh, six or seven weeks anyway. So I've stripped the bed, taken the bed mattresses uh, inside. And, and now I'm going to show you the electricity setup. Now, I do recommend that people uh, leave the vans heated in the winter. Obviously, you don't have to heat it too much, but just keep it on a minimum setting um, to protect everything inside. However, as an experiment, mine is not going to be heated. And I'm in Central Europe. Of course, I don't know what the weather's going to be like yet. But um, it's uh, th let's assume it's going to go below zero and go well below zero as is normal around here. So why am I doing this experiment? Well, um, it's to do with the lithium iron phosphate battery. Now, since I got my first lithium iron phosphate or lithium ferrous phosphate, life po 4 L I F E P O four battery. Uh, it's it's completely changed my motorhoming experience. The uh, I no longer have to worry about uh, uh, charging. Uh, where I'm going to find the electricity from from April until October, I am completely off grid. And it, there's enough sun uh, on the solar to power me completely. Admittedly, maybe I'm not using a huge amount of stuff, but I can have the computer on for quite a lot, particularly on those days, supposing it's raining or something, or I've got lots to do, the computer could easily be running for 12 or even 15 hours. And uh, so that that's a fair drain on it. Other things I'm using, obviously, is the water pump. There's the lights, the lights, that's next to nothing, and the water pump, how often am I using that? I uh, have used the uh, uh, the battery for hot water um, to to boil water, but anyway, I think I'll come on to that a, a little little later. Now, um, lithium iron phosphate is fantastic, so it's changed my, but it's got a number of problems. First problem is the price. Well, there's not much we can do about that. It costs more than other forms of uh, lead acid or any other form of battery. Uh, that's number one. The second thing, it's got, it's got low conductivity uh, compared to other batteries. Well, the uh, manufacturers will sort that one out for us. And problem number three is that it uh, doesn't like it when it goes cold inside it doesn't like going below uh, freezing in fact you can actually permanently damage some of the cells if that happens now um, uh, let's have a look at my setup round here so I've installed this battery here and there's a link below to the supplier now the battery I've normally got in here is a 200 and 50 ampere hours um, lithium iron phosphate superb but it has one problem that this one here doesn't have this one has self heating so when a lithium iron phosphate battery will charge you can damn it under under I think it's about zero to minus four uh, it, you can damage the cells. So what this thing here does, it heats the cells before it starts charging. So it's got a little, uh, it uses the power inside, heats it up a bit. Now, if you're connected to your solar, you are going to have the uh, uh, solar energy coming in all the time, which uh, sort of uh, stands to be, so it's be constantly um, charged. So what this does here, it'll heat it up. Now, when I've taken, <coughs> excuse me, I've taken the other battery in inside, so it's nice and warm in there. This one here, uh, as an experiment, so it's going to be uh, in the cold, well, it's not cold, not cold yet, but it will be in the cold, and we'll compare the charge that it holds. Uh, so it's only going to be charging via solar. I'm not going to connect uh, the um, it, to the main supply at all. Then we'll see how far that goes. Show you what else I've got here. There we have. Uh, this is my um, 
what do you call that, the inverter. So that's four kilowatts. There we've got the charger as well. And I've got another inverter up there. So I've got the three things there. And um, how well is this going to work? Well, I don't know uh, yet. But we'll find out and see if it's any good. Now, if you're interested in the battery itself, there'll be a link uh, below. And uh, so for a battery of this nature, looking around 1,300 euros, something along those lines. Uh, it's a bit difficult to say because um, I don't know at present. Now, there's another advantage of the uh, lithium iron uh, phosphate is that it's less environmentally harmful than other, other batteries. It doesn't use nickel, it doesn't use cobalt. So uh, from that point of view, it has that additional uh, benefit. Right, so uh, I shall be doing another video on this in a couple of months' time when it comes to checking the, how well the battery has done in the cold weather. So for the moment, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And uh, if you did, then you might want to subscribe. All the best from me in Poland. Thanks.